Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Simon Says Stamp has a beautiful new release called All the Feels. Today's card features a new sentiment set called Extra Large Greetings 2, and those sentiments are big and beautiful. These sentiments have been coupled with some older products from the Clustered Leaves collection. So let's get started. I began by creating the backgrounds for all three cards. I'm working with three different colors of cardstock, teal, amber, and orange. I chose Distress Oxide inks that were a fairly close match to the paper. I'm working with Carved Pumpkin, Peacock Feathers, and Fossilized Amber. The red rubber stamp, Simon Says Stamps Outline Leaves Background, was placed directly on my glass media mat. The stamp holds securely and there's no need to worry about any slippage. Each piece of cardstock is stamped with the coordinating ink to create a tone-on-tone -tone effect. When placing the cardstock on the stamp, I'm careful not to let it shift at all. I use my hand to apply even pressure across the panel. The stamped image is coated with Simon Says Stamps Fine Detail Clear Embossing Powder and Heat Set. Heat is applied to both the front and the back of the panel to help minimize warping. When all the panels are embossed, I die cut Simon Says Stamps clustered leaves from matte gold cardstock. At this point, I start working on the cards one at a time. The panel was first trimmed to an A2 size in the landscape orientation and then die cut two thirds of the way down using Simon Says Stamps Thanks Scallop Border. Another piece of teal cardstock was trimmed down to four and a quarter inches by five and a half inches. Matte gold cardstock was cut down to fit underneath the scalloped border so that the die cuts would stand out. This panel was then mounted on white sheet foam to provide some dimension. The panel was laid on the foam. I simply just followed the line of the scallop trimming down the foam. The scallop panel was put in place to help position the large friend sentiment from Extra Large Greetings 2. Typically I would stamp this with Versamark ink, but apparently I have packed it away as I'm in the process of getting ready for a move. Distress Oxide inks take a while to dry and so it is a good substitute for Versamark and I stamped this with my peacock feathers and then coated it with Ink on 3's Gold Rush Embossing Powder. This sentiment was stamped and embossed two times leaving a nice smooth puffy appearance. One of the many great benefits to using a stamping platform like the Misty. A portion of the clustered leaves die cut was chosen to accent the top of the card. I then used the outline clustered leaves die to cut teal cardstock to match the same leaves that were in the gold. Just the stem of the outline leaves were dotted with Tombow glue. When Tombow glue dries it is tacky leaving a repositionable die cut. The full size teal panel was attached to an A2 size card base from Nina Classic Cress 110 pound cardstock. After the foam back scalloped panel was adhered, the final embellishments were put in place. The Tombow glue on the stem of the teal outline leaves was tacky now and I simply just positioned it over the matte gold leaves, slightly offset. Glue was applied to the back of the solid leaves and they were adhered to the card. Because glue was not applied to the outline leaves, I was able to lift them up with my craft pick for additional dimension. The card was finished up with gold confetti that was topped up with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. Because this card covers off many of the steps followed in the other two cards, I will only focus on those aspects that are different. For the amber card, 
I used a frame scallop die from Simon's Stamps Frames. Frames is an older die set, but it is one of my all-time favorites and I use it a lot. This die produces two pieces, the inner rectangular panel and a scalloped frame. The die was used to cut the embossed panel, plain cardstock and white sheet foam. The sentiment hang in there from extra large greetings to was stamped yes again with distress oxide ink and embossed with ink on threes gold rush. I find when I have to trim vellum paper that it sometimes slips so I really appreciate the press plate on Tim Holt's guillotine cutter. The sentiment was wrapped around the embossed panel and taped in place. It was then adhered to the foam die cut and placed under my misty so that there would be good contact between the paper and foam while it dried. This panel was attached to an A2 size card base and the plain frame was fitted around it. This card was finished up with a portion of the leafy branch and confetti topped with morning dew. I began this card by die cutting the embossed panel with a stitched rectangle from My Favorite Things Stacks 2. The fourth smallest frame die in Simon Says Stamp's A2 Thin Frames fit nicely around the sentiment that I wanted to use. I die cut the center of the embossed panel and also a piece of oversized foam. The frame of the embossed panel was attached to the foam and trimmed down. The dimensional frame was then adhered to an A2 size card base. The thin frame was also used to die cut both orange and matte gold cardstock. The sentiment from Extra Large Greetings 2 was embossed on the orange rectangle twice using Incon 3's Gold Rush. Tape was used to hold the gold frame in place around the sentiment. This small panel was recessed in the center of the card. Several pieces of the clustered leaf die cuts were used to frame the top of the recessed panel. Confetti topped with morning dew crystal drops finish up this card. And that wraps up these three cards featuring Simon's Stamps Extra Large Greetings 2. Be sure to check out other amazing products in all the feels release. As always, I appreciate your visit.